in this part of the tutorial we are going to have a look at how we can create some on-screen buttons um, so that we can make the character move on mobile devices so I will be testing all this on my uh, computer Windows computer so I will not be able to click more buttons at the same time but on a mobile device of course you will be able to put one finger on run and then another on slide or attack or something at the same time but I only have one mouse cursor here so I'm only able to click one of them at the time but I have created six buttons here and if you're interested in using these buttons you can simply click the link on the screen right now uh, to go to my page where you can download these absolutely free or you can go to the link in the description uh, where you will also be able to um, navigate to my page and download these these sprites here so I've created a sprite for running to the left one for running to the right and then one for sliding and I've also created one for uh, for jumping here and then I have one for throwing and one for attacking with the sword. So this is basically what we are going to implement in this tutorial. Besides implementing the buttons, we will also have a look at uh, the platform effector uh, from Unity. And that's basically a component that makes us able to create platforms we can jump through and run on top of. So we are going to remove some of the functionality we wrote ourselves for creating the platforms. Um, and we're going to replace it with the built-in functionality in Unity because, of course, the built-in functionality should uh, be more optimized and work better. Um, and when I created these platforms uh, back in the earlier tutorials, I wasn't aware of this um, platform effector. Uh, but some people have commented on the videos and told me about this effector. So now I will um, be implementing that or showing you how to implement it. So, yeah, that's it. Let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I am going to fix here is that the platform so that we are using the platform effector instead of the normal platforms. So to test this, I would like to be able to stand down here uh, with my second enemy and test it on this little platform here because that should be the easiest one to test it on. So I will need to take my enemy and I'm going to disable her. <clears throat> Sorry, so that she doesn't um, get in the way and kills me when I'm I'm trying to to test this platform. Um, so if I run down here, actually, I want to put the ninja down there. If I click on my player, I can take him and move him down here. So we start down here. If we look at this, if we click on the platform, you'll see we have this small platform here, and we have two box colliders and a collision trigger script. And basically, we are going to remove this collision trigger script because we don't need it anymore. And we are going to remove one of the box colliders. So basically, I only want to keep the box collider that is actually um, that we are able to stand on, that the one that we are standing on, actually. So to make it easier for you guys to see it, we can maybe remove the background. And if we click this platform here, you'll see that we have a um, two colliders. So if I, yeah. Disable the lower one here or remove it right click on it and remove it then we only have one platform left here So besides that one platform we will also need to remove uh, the collision trigger script because the effector is going to do this uh, job for us So just right click on the collision trigger and remove component and now you should be left with a small platform um, And it still has left and right here and it only has a box collider on it and this box collider is simply simply needs to be a non-trigger um, so that we can stand on it. So right now, we are not able to run through it, but we should be able to jump. And if I don't bounce off the side here, I should be able to land on top of it here. So now my player has a platform that he can stand on, but he can't run through. So to fix that thing, we'll have to click on the small platform, click Add Component, and search for Platform. And if you search for platform, um, this platform effector 2D will appear. And if you click on that, then you'll see that this um, component gets added. So first of all, it comes with a warning. The effector will not function until there is at least one enabled 2D collider with use by effector checked on this game object. So we can see we have our box collider 2D up here and there is something called use by effector. And this means that this uh, collider here can be driven by this platform effector. So the effector can, can control it. So basically just click on the use by effector. And as you'll see here, 
um, it actually just disappeared that thing, uh, that, that warning we had. Okay, right now we are still not able to run through the side of the, of the platform, but if I took the platform here and I move it up like so, you'll see that I should be able to jump up through it as you can see here. So it's not blocking my way from the bottom, but it's still blocking my way when I jump in from the side here, you can see. So we need to do something so that we, we don't hit the side of this, um, this platform. So to do that, we can adjust the surface arch here. So if we look here, you'll see, maybe it's hard to see on the video, but there's like a half circle here. And it basically shows how um, the collider, uh, what the collider is blocking. So I can take this surface, uh, surface arch here, and I should be able to reduce it so that it doesn't um, hit on the side here. So you can see you have the surface arch, arch and you can take and reduce this, make it less than 180. And it's very hard to see, but this arch actually becomes small. And now you can see that these um, angles here are a little steeper than before. You can see we can remove it almost. So now we can only stand just on the top, but we would like to have it like so, so that it's the top of the platform here that we can stand on and the sides are still, um, we can still pass through the sides here. So let's try, let's see here. Now I can run through the sides of the platform and I can jump and it land on top of the platform. I'm not sure if I need to put it a little closer to the ground, if it's just, ah, it's fine. So now you can see we have a platform that works exactly as before, but we don't have our own script that controls this. Um, so we don't get any problems by falling through them or something. Um, you can always adjust this surface arch, um, basically. Uh, so, yeah. So, so basically, if, if you can't run through the side, then you might want to put a lower value. Or if you fall off the sides, then you need to put a higher value. So you can play around with this and make make it as uh, exactly as you want it. So that was the part about um, <clears throat> the new platforms. So basically, we will need to um, we'll need to replace our other platforms with the exact same. Um, effector so basically you can take your other small platforms and delete them so take the top one delete it other one not that one uh, this one deleted ah, okay and now when I zoom out at, at actually it's easier to see this arch here so you can see now that this angle here is different when it's 111 than when it's like 180 almost as you can see here but we are going to I'm going to keep it at 111.9 um, what we can do is that we can select our smaller platform, right click on it, duplicate, and then move it up so that we have it somewhere here. And we can right click on it and duplicate one more time so we get the third platform right here. And if we play our game, we should be able to run on these platforms and uh, jump on top of them, now I jumped too far, but they, they should still work exactly as, as, they, as they did before, as you can see here. But we will also have to do the exact same thing um, with our medium platform. So take your medium platform and remove the bottom collider here. Um, let's see, yeah, that was the right one. And then remove the collision trigger and then add component platform effector and make sure that your collider is used by the effector and keep the use one-way collider on because yeah, use one-way collider decides that you can jump or determines if you can jump through the collider, of course. Um, and then I can put this 111.9 as the other one, just might as well be 112, um, yeah. So now I have added this one and use collider masks on. As you can see, you can add a collider mask so that you can decide what can actually run on this platform here. So basically, if you only want the player to be able to jump on the platform, then you can make a new uh, a layer and then put the player's collider as, as player and then select the player here. As you can see, we already have the enemy. So if we want a platform with enemies only, well, then you need to uncheck everything except the enemy here, for example. So let's see, we should be able to jump here. 
jump here jump here and I should be able to run through this one with any, without any problems and I should still be able to jump on it so the next thing we will need to do um, would be to actually um, replace the stuff on the top platform here so yeah select your top platform if you have the same setup as I do uh, remove the script remove the top collider see if this is the correct one yeah there we go and then add a component platform effector make sure that the okay I actually remove the wrong collider I think remove the bottom collider Let's see yeah I need to remove the bottom collider here and then add component platform effector make sure that this one is using the effector and 112 is arch and everything can collide with it so if I play the game now then the enemy should still land on it and she should still be able to um, run on top of it and everything and I can jump up here and get hit and I should still be able to jump on top of this now I got hit so I fell down but I should still be able to land on it Let's see here there we go and you can of course do the same for the for the box here um, so that you can jump on top of that and pass through it and everything so yeah basically everything you have in your game and um, that you can jump on you should take all those things and remove the double colliders and then add a effector to it and and put the right arch on it and make sure that your collider is using that effector so now we have set up our level so that it actually works as it should so now we can start adding our buttons I'm going to end this video here in the next video we are going to add the buttons to the project and place them on the screen in the UI system um, if you haven't done it already then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates and new videos also remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page which means that all your support is very important to me you can support me in different ways and of course you will get something back if you support me you can support me by getting this project or any of my other projects by clicking the button in the bottom of the screen right here or you can support me on patreon if you support me on patreon you will get early video access you can get private tutoring and you will also gain access to every single project that i have created thank you very much for watching 